Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. And coffee. It is Sunday. I had planned on all doing all this yesterday, but I had a terrible migraine. I get headaches with the weather and yesterday was a day. So I did a few planting things outside that needed done and then I spent the rest of the day in a chair. That's how it is. So today, we are on it because my headache is gone. So I found some fun new things. I will show you the new things I found first. Ah, I grabbed a couple of these, but they are boards. So this one, look how thick that cork is. That is a cork board. The thin little ones that they sell that you can't even stick a pin in. No, look at that. It does come, oh, you can hang it on its loop and it comes with some pins, but I think I'm gonna Velcro these to my wall. I got three of them. I think I have one in another haul because I only decided I needed three long. So what I'm gonna do on my wall in my office is go two or three tall. We'll see. I know, for $1.25. But then I found a felt board. Now, if you're a crafter, and you do any type of fabric crafting, this is the move, friends. This felt board, we're gonna open it up. Especially with cross stitch, because then I can show you my cross stitch. Now this does come with pins as well, so you can use it as a pin board. It's just a felt covered one. But if I have a cross stitch here, which I don't, you can stick like your fabric designs to it. Also, it's a pin cushion. You can use it as a cork board. You could do like gray cork, cork gray, and put a pretty little display board. And it's also thick. I like it. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll find one more light gray. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, and then I found another collapsible bin. This one is in the jot section. So this is for is in with their like school supplies and it's smaller, which I like for craft stuff. Oh, gotta do the same thing. Here we go. Gotta clip it. Oh, is it not? This one is not as easy to clip together as, hold on, please hold. It's not as easy to clip into position I will say as the other one was and stay in position. Hmm. I'm gonna have to fuss with this a little bit. Maybe that's it on that side. Ah, there we go. You gotta really snap it in there good. Or maybe this is just one that's not, not gonna work. I don't know, but yeah, there you go. I think I got it. It is a collapsible bin, but these are smaller and I would definitely say for like school supplies, crafting things, there's no open weave, so things aren't gonna fall out. I will say it was a little challenging and like this side here doesn't quite work. So these are a little different, but they'll work. I may be able to glue it together with permanent glue. But I got a bin. Because we all need bins in our lives, right? Um, I've been sharing my drink mixes at work to get my team to drink more water. So I just put them on our coffee station. So I grabbed some refills. I love this in the summer. It tastes just like a ras blue raspberry Slurpee, if you remember those. But nothing exciting there. Exciting here, I will say. Let me put this trash in this bag. Because that's how we roll. Um, I got a new notepad and I love it because it says Grow Possible Thoughts and it has a Monstera. It is magnetic. I'll put it on my kitchen refrigerator to make my um, grocery list. But I thought this was awesome. I love a, a notepad on a magnet and I love that it's summer themed. They had a bunch of different. 
And then also in the dis in the jot section, I found binder clips, but look, they have words. So they say uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So if you have tasks to do during the week, and then the other side is to do, urgent today, tomorrow, and to do. I love that I can identify my stack by my binder clip. This is like the organizational girl's dream. I'm just gonna show you, throw that out there. All right, I don't have a ton more, but we'll get to it. Um, I am going to be growing cat grass for a few friends and these will be perfect for that because then they can just throw it away. Um, if you're not aware, oh, my hair. Cat grass or that I grow is like wheat germ. You put it in some soil, put your seeds on, cover it, water it, it grows, the cats eat it and they pretty much kill it and then you just start fresh. So I grabbed a bunch of these, we're gonna do that. I was gonna do it yesterday, but clearly we didn't get to that. And then for my boys, I'm growing them a patch of cat grass. I grab some of these little trays, I will fill it with soil, fill it with cat grass, seed, top it off, and then they can have it. Alex really likes it and he doesn't get to go outside. So I decided I would make him a big one because Wellington does go out in my front yard a little bit and he eats the cat grass. Another new item. Tell me this is not everything. They had it in straw with a strawberry and they had a pineapple, but I liked the pink and green. It is just a headband. It is so soft, guys. So soft. It's a headband to hold your hair back when you're washing your face. And this one has the lime. I love it. I cannot wait to use this. And it's so soft. So we'll use that. Then I was gonna do some 4th of July summary stuff. I'm not quite sure how this is all gonna work out with that burlap that I bought. So I grabbed this sign and it just says, let freedom ring. I may paint over that question mark, but I grabbed this little sign. It is metal and then that wood on the front. Here, we'll do this. We'll do our thumbnail. Perfect. And I have had a lot of questions about that. I do that so I can pick my own thumbnail because if not, if you don't have one, then the YouTube will pick one for you and they're never pleasant. I'm usually like, and it's not pleasant. So I make my own. Um, I grabbed some of these beads with a little 4th of July hat, some red, white, and blue beads. I grabbed a couple of these. I don't know if they're in this haul or the next because I wanted the beads. Um, and also I will use these, but yeah. And then this little gingham, which I think is adorable as well. So we'll see, I grabbed that. And like I said, I have others. Let me put this bag over here. Oh, so we're having at my work um, in June, there's colleague appreciation week where um, the bank and the managers and everything, we show appreciation for our colleagues. And every day it's a little something different. Um, I think on one day I'm bringing bagels in. It's just a different, you know, every day. So I decided it's going to be like summer theme because well, it's summer and they have all these super cute inflatables. They don't stand. I don't think, I think they just, there's no sand or anything in them. I think you just blow them up, but I'm going to lay them around. So we got a toucan. I think that's a toucan, right? A hibiscus, which I think is awesome and a pineapple and they just float if you put them in the pool or I'm just gonna lay them on the like the table I will have set up all week to put treats on I'll probably make brookies too one day so I grabbed three I grabbed more but this stock I got three and I definitely need a bag to put this stuff in so I can take it to work see I do reuse my bags so I could take it into the office to decorate next week oh yep it is in this haul I picked up, and then I grabbed two of this same one, and it just says USA on it. But like I said, mostly I got it for the beads to match the burlap. So yeah, and I may end up making, because I have so many beads, I may end up making a burlap garland. That would be fun, right? Oh yeah, and I could do like a little bead in between the garland or something we'll see 
So I grabbed that. And then this is the last bag. Um, I used some of this already. I thought this is just the crinkle filler for like baskets and stuff. I grabbed three of these. I did a fundraiser at work uh, for Pelotonia season, which I will be putting my video up soon. Um, but I'm raffling off for a fundraiser, a boozy basket. It has all um, bourbon, whiskey, vodka, gin, tequila, and rum full bottles, high end, that I got locally and some imported. And I use this to help with the basket. So I have a little left. Ooh. So I'm putting together goodie bags for my family that were all, all of us that are flying abroad. And I thought, well, these are perfect for the girls' goodie bags. And I already have one, so I just grabbed one two pack for Ellen and Sarah to go in their little goodie bag uh, for pre-flight. And I have some other stuff, and I maybe I'll make a video showing you how I put together their little travel goodie bag. But these are little nail files, and I like that they have a case, so when they're in your bag, they don't scratch things like your phone. Um, I also got everybody a pack of tissue, including myself too, because I have allergies. So just as a heads up or, or whenever you're traveling, always keep a pack of tissues on you, obviously for nose blowing. But if you go to the potty at a public restaurant or somewhere and they don't have toilet paper, these are handy. And I tell you, they have saved me many, many a time at um, international, locally, domestic, whatever, any high traffic areas, truck stops, rest stops, en route if you're in Canada, um, and they don't have toilet paper in your stall, you don't have to scream and ask for help, you'll have a tissue in your bag. So I always travel with one. So these will also go in my family's goodie bag. And then I grabbed two packs of these gel bandages for blisters. And everybody, I have some for my own first aid kit, but everybody will get a couple of these in their goodie bag in case anybody, when we're out walking around and stuff, gets a blister. Everybody will have a bandage with them. And I think you get four in here. These are a little more expensive. They are waterproof, multi-day use, helps promote faster healing. And these are called high look, high, Hylacoid, Hylacoid or something. They're expensive band-aids. They're more expensive than like your just plastic because these will seal all the way around if you have a blister or a wound or your shoe is rubbing and they don't move. They use them for acne. Yes. So I grabbed enough for everybody to have one. I will have more with me if they need. So that is for that and I oh and I got one last thing I think these are adorable they're little wine tumblers or wine size tumblers so it's like the size of a wine glass right but it has the sippy cup and when I go out to like picnic with the pops or a picnic at any sort or down to the pool I can bring this beverage with me with some glass it's double walled so it's not going to sweat on my hands and it's nice to hold and I like it so for any type of adult beverage, you want to sip some wine, if you want to put some iced tea in it, it's small, but mighty. So they had them in all different. It came out with the summer stuff and you'll see I'm really digging this watermelon theme. So I grabbed that. And for this haul, that is everything I got. And I'm excited because some new stuff is coming out and I can't wait to grab it all. I can't wait. All right, guys. You have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later.